Well, thanks guys for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the bell so you'll get notifications for the follow-up videos. And uh, give me a like and share with a friend. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Hey everybody, John Morrison here. Uh, we're going to do a pretty cool project right now. We're going to build a robot out of glass. Now this is something that I've built before, but we're going to make some changes this time around, kind of upgrade it a little bit. Um, now when I first made this robot, I thought I was going to do like a limited edition run, and so I cut the pieces that I need needed for more than one robot, which is a good thing because I can't order the glass anymore. This glass is called Veritran. Uh, it's a silver version of Gold Crescent. It, uh, it's what they, I used to call it burglar glass. It's like uh, these mirrors where the shopper in the store sees a mirror, but the guy behind there only sees tint and he can watch people, you know, shoplift or whatever. But anyway, uh, that's what this is made out of. Extra cool because it can't be made anymore or can't be bought anymore. And beyond that, um, I don't have to cut this stuff out. It's already cut. It's ready to go, all the sizes. Uh, the other day, I, I taped it together to make sure I understood how I uh, had these put together. And so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to create this box, and then we're going to create this box, and then this box is going to attach to that box. And this will be uh, the body and torso of our robot. And these are just extra pieces for additional robots. So anyway, uh, who knows? After we build this one, we, we may build another one someday. But uh, anyway, uh, what we're going to do to start is we're going to grind this glass and glue it together. We're going to do it in a very specific procedure. And you're going to get to see everything that happens and how that goes. So anyway, uh, we're going to go to the grinder. Okay, what we're going to do, the first step of building this box, this weird shape box, is I have got to grind these two edges flat at 90 degrees. And so they're going to be attached right here and right here. And they're standing up right now, which is kind of nice, but they're not, they're not square. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, ho, ho. but anyway, uh, we're going to grind these flats and join it to here. That's the first step. So we're going to leave this sitting right here, and uh, we're going to go start grinding. Okay, first thing we're going to do is get rid of this wheel. This is a smoothing wheel. Uh, and then we're going to replace it with this diamond wheel. This is a 325 grit. Okay, and then we're going to set up our backing plate here. And that is so that I can grind a 90 degree it's already been adjusted, so I know it registers 90 degrees. And then we will grind those two edges. Turn on the machine, turn on the water. I'm going to throw a little shadow there. over this thing once uh, it gets up to speed. But we're going to grind these two edges and then they'll be ready to glue to that, that other plate. Okay, we're still not up to speed. 
think I'm going to move it forward a little bit. I've got the glass marked with tape so that they're turned the right way. Okay, here are the two side pieces of the bottom part of the robot. This is the back side. So we're going to glue that up, but first we've got to make sure this glass is completely clean. This UV glue is pretty miraculous, but it operates best under a very few narrow set of rules, and you can't break the rules at all. One is it has got to be dead flat against the other piece of glass. No debris, no, I mean, even a single granule of dust can make your joint fail. So we've got to get this seriously clean. Hmm. Not really sure. Now that top piece will get ground off, so I'm not too worried about that. But, uh, okay, these are the two edges that we just ground. So, got to clean those too. And we got to take the tape off, lay that in position. Take the tape off. Now, I'm going to run a dairy. Then, bead of glue. Okay. And touch that down. And turn on a lamp. Okay, that'll take about a minute to cure. Okay, we have that joined together. And that should be a permanent joint. Now we're going to glue the other edge to it. Run the bead of glue. Right. We're going to move the light over here. And we're going to touch down. Okay. That looks about right. Start the light up. Okay, we'll just let that run. 
until it cured. Okay, we have these two pieces glued down now. Now, normally when you're working with wood or plastic, you would cut all your pieces and then glue them together, screw them together, uh, clamp them together, whatever. Glass doesn't work that way. You have to get along with the glass. You have to come to where the glass is. So now that these two are attached to the bottom, uh, we have a rigid piece of glass. Now I'm going to have to grind these two at the same time on the grinding wheel, on the lap wheel. And so by doing that, I have a uniform plane from here to here because when it comes to this glue, it will not fill. It will not uh, uh, compensate in any way. You have to have true flat to true flat. And so we've got to grind these two surfaces at the same time. So anyway, let's go do that. All right, we're gonna get rid of this. I think we're going to go to a rougher wheel because this guy is going a little too slow. Okay, we've gone to a rougher wheel. Uh, when you have a lot to grind away, you want to use a rougher wheel so it doesn't take so long, but you want to get to your smoother wheels pretty quick. Whoa! Forgot to go back now. Okay, we're going to a rougher wheel. So it'll eat a little faster, but you want to get to your smoother wheels as quick as you can. Okay. Now we're going to grind this as a single surface. Okay, looks like we're done. That is a uniform plane. Okay. Okay, we're, we put on a smoother wheel. We're going to smooth it out just a little bit before we glue. sure I got this turned the right way. Okay. That's right. Okay. Here we go. All right. Touch this down in position. Okay. I'm going to get a little help holding the light. Go ahead. Center it over above. A little more forward. Okay, here we are with the four pieces joined together. Now that they're uh, all fixed, I will go back to the grinder and I'll grind the bottom to make it a uniform surface before gluing the bottom piece of glass on. And then we'll flip it over and grind the top 
for the same reasons we'll then attach the top component and then we can start bullnosing those edges and polishing them out and it'll really start to look like something. Okay, we're going to start this up and start. Now, we're going to grind the top, make it uniform, and we're going to grind the bottom and do the same. So, let this thing get up to speed. Okay, now we've ground the top and the bottom, and you can kind of see that the joints, even though it's, the camera's not focusing all that well, the joints look pretty good. This one kind of shows up more than the others, but they're all stuck together well. And uh, uh, let's turn it over. And look at it that way. Now typically I would glue the top and the bottom on and then start bullnosing the edges. However, uh, I've decided we're going to put lights inside of here so I can't put the bottom on right away because I've got to get the lights in before I put the bottom in. So I'm waiting for the lights to come on. However, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to go ahead and glue on the top and I'll have to drill a hole in that piece of glass, uh, the, what's going to be on that end. But uh, it's coming along pretty quick. And uh, let's just move on to the next bit. Okay, we got to drill a couple of holes in this glass because I've decided to put uh, lights inside the robot's body. So I have got to drill a couple of holes and it's a little tricky with the setup I've got. I don't have my jig set up that I normally use, but we're gonna... Uh, which way does this thing go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get our position. That should do. Okay, and there we got another good hole. 
How about that? Got a paper towel, some glass cleaner. So I gotta clean this surface very well. And I've got to clean this surface. got to clean off my little marks I made to locate my hole okay all right there's that so now we take our UV cured adhesive run a tiny little bead all the way around Sure you get complete unbroken line and then we set it down I'm not sure how this is gonna work I'm gonna go ahead and start the light oops uh oh well gang I'm trying to do this without electricity okay There we go. There we go. Now, set this down. It's flat, so we'll have a uniform edge. Now I've got to let go and get my light right over the target. And this will take a couple of minutes. Normally it takes about 40 seconds, but I think my bottle of glue might be reaching its uh, age of maturity. Let's see if, we, if we're attached. Yes, we are. So, I'm going to turn this over like this and just... Let the light run for a while. There we go. Now we can ignore that and do something else. Okay, what we're going to do now, uh, we've got most of our box built. I didn't put the bottom on because I have to put lights in before I put the bottom on and I'm waiting for the lights to come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to round off do a half bull nose edge on all of these edges not the bottom. We'll have to glue the bottom on and then we'll do that. But uh, so all of this boxy squareness is going to go away and we'll have nice radius corners and then uh, what we have taped together here, we'll, we'll do the same thing to that and it'll get attached there with the lights included. And so anyway, we're going to go to the wheel and do that right now. those edges and um, I didn't do all the shaping that's going to be done I actually want to do most of the shaping on the next wheel it's a little smoother <clears throat> sometimes this rough wheel leaves big marks it's real hard to get rid of so I like to do my final shaping with a smoother disc so anyway that's what we're going to do next All right, we're going to take another look at it here. Now, 
again, I'm not sure if this camera and this light is letting you see the difference, but it's a lot smoother. It's definitely smoother to the touch. Now we'll have to go to uh, a pre-polishing wheel and then we'll take it to a, a felt wheel to do the final polish, but once the final polish goes on, all of a sudden this won't look like five clunky pieces of glasses uh, stuck together. It'll start to look like an object uh, all its own. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go to the, uh, the pre-polish wheel and then uh, we'll take a look at that and see what it looks like. Alrighty, here we are. I got a little carried away. I uh, uh, ground it on the pre-polishing wheel and then switched to the polishing wheel and finished polishing it out. Now you can see how those uh, radius corners, those bullnose corners look really nice and it just all of a sudden it looks like something. So anyway, I uh, apologize for getting ahead of myself, but uh, when uh, we do the top part of the torso, I will show you the, um, the pre-polish disc and the polishing disc in action. And uh, you can kind of see what that looks like. They're made different, they look different, and they behave a little differently. But anyway, this is it. We're ready to go to the next part. All right. We've got this part mostly done. Again, I'm not going to attach the bottom until I get my lights inside. Now we're going to go through that same process again to uh, make the top part and then we'll glue that down. So anyway, all this tape is going to come off and, uh, and then we'll glue up and grind and I'm not going to make you have to watch all that but we're gonna glue it up like we did the bottom section and then uh, we'll have the top part of the robot body and it really starts to get fun when you start doing all the details when you start etching on graphic components and uh, we've got to uh, make the arms and the head and that's gonna be fun we're gonna saw up some glass and uh, it's hard to score cut thick pieces that are small so we're gonna cut those on the saw but I need to uh, need this to lay down So I know how to put them back together. So anyway, there's that. I'm going to grind two of these edges and then I'm going to glue it to that. And then we'll grind both of those planes to make them uniform and we'll glue the front on. So let's get going. All right. Here we have the top part of the robot. This is the bottom part. And here we have the top part uh, all glued together. So it's a, a sound single grouping of glass, but it's kind of crude and it needs to be shaped and then rounded edges like this. And then uh, once that's done, our lights came in. So I'll put my lights in and we'll glue that on top of there and then we'll put the lights in the bottom part and, uh, and then we'll glue it all together and then we'll have the, the basic uh, body of the robot and then of course we'll have to cut out of half inch starfire crystal we're going to cut the arms and the head and neck and that'll be the next big thing so I'm going to start grinding and shaping on this and uh, I will show you the pre-polishing wheel and the polishing wheel when we get to that stage so you, know, you can see what that looks like. Anyway, let's get started. Alrighty, I want to show you what a metal disc looks like. This is a metal disc with diamond grit on it 
and uh, it's got the magnetic backing so it sticks to the flywheel. Now that's a, a smoothing plate. Now when we actually start getting close to polish, a pre-polish disc is actually made out of rubber and interestingly it has the exact same diamond grit mixed in with the rubber as what's on that steel wheel over there except this uh, rubber wheel has and it's kind of a hard rubber but it has just enough give that it actually smooths it essentially the same grit will smooth uh, your grinding area get it closer to being ready for polish than the steel wheel will. So anyway, I'm going to, uh, here we have the piece already shaped. So I'm going to grind this and smooth it to a pre-polish and uh, uh, then we'll go to the felt wheel. So here we go. Okay, now this is, uh, all right, this is the polishing wheel. This is a synthetic felt and we've got a bad spot on it here and so I marked it so that as it's spinning I can kind of see where to stay away from because if you've got an uneven surface and this thing's spinning real fast sometimes it can grab your glass and it'll just rip it right out of your hand but anyway uh, here we you can see I hope uh, the result of the rubber wheel the pre-polish and so it's pretty darn smooth. So this wheel is going to take it to a polish. So anyway, as uh, soon as I get done doing that, we will go take a look at it uh, on the turntable and see the result. Okay, let's look inside of it. Here it's dirty uh, from the debris from grinding and polishing. But uh, we're true flat on the bottom, so we're ready to join this to uh, the bottom part of the body. And uh, so we got to get our lights in here, because once we put it together, that's it. it. You're not going back inside there at all for any reason. Anyway, there it is. Okay, I've been working on the lights, putting the lights in the robot. Uh, here we've got uh, some inside here. I'm going to turn them on for a second so you can see kind of. And then here this is still hollow. But turning the lights on, you can see the top part of the torso is going to flash. And the, uh, the uh, graphic here that's going on the top of the torso will be right in front of these lights. And, uh, and then this is pretty cool. As simple as this is, I just love this sort of thing. Making this tiny little stand and polishing the edges and everything. So that's going to glue down right here. And the remainder of these lights is going to wrap around and around and around and around. And of course, because this is a reflective surface on the entire interior of the uh, robot body, all these lights are going to bounce back and forth. It's going to create kind of an infinity effect, so depending on your angle, you might see the lights kind of go off into infinity, uh, as it were. So anyway, this is getting close to gluing this body together, and then we can move on to whatever we're going to do next. That's either to uh, etch the detail uh, with photo resist uh, and this being our uh, our templates for the etch patterns or we'll start on the arms and the head of the robot all right now we're looking at uh, the robot's body uh, it has been glued to the bottom piece of glass and uh, the lights are all inside there. I've got some marks on there, some Sharpie marks, and I haven't cleaned it up yet. But <clears throat> I've got to go right now and grind that bottom bullnose edge and polish that out. 
and at that point oh oh let's look at the lights here uh, are we facing the front okay here we go it'll look different with all the etching on the body but for now gives us some idea of what that's all going to look like. So anyway, let's look at this at a slightly different angle. Okay, I turned all the lights out so we could uh, get special effects. Those That top row of lights, I wanted that to be behind the uh, the little dials on the robot's chest. And uh, not that it would light those up the way it probably ought to, but it would direct the light in that area. But then the bottom, I wanted it to be just kind of all over the place. Okay, now we're going to take this to the grinding wheel, the lap wheel, and uh, finish that part out. You know, before I take it to the wheel and start grinding that, let me give you a closer look. This bottom piece of glass, the bottom of the base, is just clean cut. It's slightly bigger than the base all around but when I get through working on it this edge is going to look a lot like this edge so anyway and then here we've got the the wire from the battery pack coming out of the bottom this will have uh, some sort of feet that or to look like rollers but they won't roll but they'll look like wheels or of some sort that the robot moves on and uh, and that'll hold it up above the wire so anyway here we go okay guys well um, there she is a robot with no arms and no head cool well anyway uh, this is going to be the end of this video for now uh, when we crank it up again we're going to work on the arms and the head and I've decided I'm going to build a cool base for this guy, too, with a, a neat light that I have. Um, but that may be the last bit. So anyway, we'll come back in a, a week or so and uh, work on the arms, work on the head, keep making a glass robot. Oh, yeah. Old man working.